Hello Internet! Today I wanted to talk a little bit about implicit usings. Um, so previously um, we were working on using global usings as a way to include a namespace across our project when we we're compiling. There's actually a way to do some of what I did in that video automatically. Um, so in this case we included things like system and system.link in our project as well as the collections. Um, some of this is already included for you if you create a new C Sharp project using C or .NET 6. Um, so that's sort of the feature we're going to take advantage of. This is called implicit usings, and the feature is located inside of your project file. So if you go here, um, you'll see there's this implicit usings thing. <laughs> um, I've disabled this. By default, this will already be enabled for you. What this is doing is saying, based off of the project type of the project I'm creating, import some common using files that are common in this type of project. So for example, a console app may use specific things like system, um, whereas a web service may use other different things. Um, so if you're wondering why you don't need to include a using statement for certain things, they may implicitly already be included for you because of this feature. So what we can do is turn this on by switching this from disable to enable. Um, again, this is a singular thing, so uh, disabled isn't going to be what you want. You want enable or disable. Um, so if we enable this, this is now done. Um, and so I can actually go into my global usings and delete some of this. Um, the system.link I do not believe is included. I will show you how to figure out what is because um, there's some magic going on behind the scenes that you can actually take a peek at if you want to. Um, so if we do this, our project should still work. <laughs> um, uh, I have frozen Visual Studio. Perfect. <laughs> uh, this is going great. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Uh, so we've done that. And now everything else is still working. So everything is still including what it should. Um, we still have access to our system. Uh, stuff so list is still defined even though there's nothing in my project that is saying import systems.collections that doesn't happen it just works um, and so I can actually run this if I want to just by clicking the little play button and it will run and do everything you normally expect it to what's happening behind the scenes is there is a automatic file that gets generated inside of your uh, obj folder um, we will take a quick look at that. <laughs> um, so once this runs, we can just stop it. There's this program does nothing interesting. It just says hello world with some extra work. <laughs> um, so I don't know why it's going so slow. Um, there we go. Maybe cool. All right. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> um, uh, so that's that everything still compiles. Everything still runs. We're just using the implicit usings. And so if you want to find those, they're going to be in your OBJ folder. Um, so if you're using Visual Studio Code, I uh, just open the OBJ file that gets or directory that gets generated. And you should be able to actually browse these files. But in Visual Studio, you can click this little switch views button and click over to the folder view. And now we have bin, which is actually the binaries that get generated and OBJ, which is some of the intermittent things. So if we expand this into our debug folder, because we're doing a debug build, you'll see there's this new file down here called globalusings.globalusings.g.cs. The .g means it's a generated file, which was created for us automatically by, by the framework. Um, the first global usings is actually my project name. This is confusing because I used global usings as the name of my project and global usings is the second name of the file. So it'll be project name .global usings .g .cs. I'm just making it confusing because I named my project poorly. <laughs> so if you look, open up this file, you will see what is included by default in your thing. And it looks like system.link is there as well, which means I can go and delete that as well. Um, so if I actually go into my global usings, that can go away as well. Everything will still work. Um, and that's happening because of those implicit imports. If you turn this off, this file just isn't going to be there. Um, so that's what's going to change. But if you're curious what's actually being imported with this, 
this is where you can go to check it. Um, so that's how all of that is happening. Um, and you can see it, it still works. I've deleted all my global usings. So if we go back to our project and disable this now, uh, my project breaks <laughs> because, because everything is gone now. Um, so nothing is defined anymore. And I would have to actually manually go and import all of these things. Um, I'm not sure why it's saying they're there, um, but that's OK. Um, either way, that's how that ends up working is it's actually going to automatically remove them. I think it's because this is still sticking around. Um, I think if I go and delete this, something will break. We'll find out. Uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> Let's go and make sure my project broke because otherwise. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Definitely broken. All right. So if I try to if I try to run this now, it's it's definitely not going to work. Um, I think I was just seeing something because the OBJ folder was still there, um, which did have those implicit usings for us. But if I try to run this now, everything is undefined. So that's what that feature is doing. If you're curious, um, it's kind of there to help you out. Um, but if you don't want it or just want to know a little bit more about how it's working, you can dive into that OBJ uh, generated file and see what's happening. Um, important to note, if you are building a release version, the location might be slightly different. But uh, yeah, just some fun things. Uh, if you haven't already caught my video on global usings, there will be a link somewhere around here. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I hope this is helpful and you can use it in your projects. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. So until then, see you internet.